Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and I'm a flight attendant with a major US airline. I am so excited to bring you today's video. These were like some of my favorite videos to make. They were some of your favorite videos to watch. And I feel like these are actually the videos that kind of kicked off my channel. So if you are interested in more videos like this or in flight attendant content in general, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Give this video a big old thumbs up. And yeah, so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite travel products right now. The products that I really think that you need, you must have when you are traveling again in summer 2021. But before we get into that, I have to tell you guys about today's sponsor. So two stereotypes about flight attendants that are both very, very true is number one, we love our coffee, but number two, and most importantly, we love our wine. So wine is actually one of my favorite things to drink when I am traveling around. I love to try local wines. I love to just expand my wine library, which is what makes Bright Cellars so exciting. So Bright Cellars actually matches you with wines all over the world that are curated specifically for your palate. So all you have to do is take a quick seven question non-wine snobby quiz, and this allows them to gather your taste preferences and deliver you wines that you are guaranteed to like. Another thing I love about Bright Cellars is they have amazing customer service. So they actually have a delight guarantee, which basically means on the rare chance that you actually get a bottle of wine that was just not your vibe, it's not your thing, it's not your taste, they will actually replace it in your next box. And Bright Cellars actually sends the wine directly to you. So there's no need to go to the grocery store or the liquor store and fumble around trying to waste your money on a bottle of wine that you might not even like because it's not designed to your specific taste. And for an added bonus, you can now start impressing your family and friends with your new wine knowledge. So the wine that I'm actually drinking right now is Meat Q and they come with these adorable cards. So they match the front of the bottle so you know exactly which one goes to what. And on the back of the cards, they actually tell you exactly what kind of wine it's gonna be, the flavor profiles, they tell you what it pairs nicely with. They also show you like where it's from and everything. So you can learn a lot about wines if it's something you're interested in. In. So Bright Cellars actually matched my palette perfectly. I personally tend to gravitate more to the white wines. I love a good sweet wine, a good dessert wine. I tend to also like medium full bodied wines. I'm not so heavy into the reds with a lot of tannin in them, but every now and again I do like to switch it up and expand my palette, which is another great thing about Bright Cellars because you can go with wines that you really love, but it also gives you the option to try something new. So if you are like me and you love your wines, you are going to love Bright Cellars. And actually right now to my subscribers they are giving 50% off your first box of six wines so go down to my description box and click that link to take your quiz and start today okay so with that being said I'm gonna continue drinking this while I show you guys my favorite travel stuff so let's get into today's video okay so I have all the stuff over on my right so I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the left. Everything that I'm going to show you is going to be linked down below. I do make a small commission if you click the links and buy it. You can do that, you don't have to, but just to let you know. So to kick us off, I'm actually starting with an item that Miss Wonderfully Allie, y'all know her, she's another travel vlogger and my best friend. So she actually showed me this item. I think it was in our first video we ever did together. So it was a while back, but this item is so good. I'm constantly getting asked about travel blankets, which I personally do not travel with a travel blanket. I think it just takes up so much space. Like as much as like those planes can be cold, which again, I don't think a lot of you know this, but people get sick on hot planes. And that is a big reason why planes tend to stay towards the cold side. So this is actually a Lululemon scarf and it has these snap clips on it. So I'll show you right here. You can see kind of how big this is. So you can actually use it as a scarf and there's so many different ways that you can wear it and have it on you. So that way also it doesn't take up so much space in your hands or trying to carry around because you just wrap it on you and then take it off. But it can also double as a blanket because of how big it is. You can wrap yourself in it and kind of warm yourself up. You can put it in your lap and it's just the most versatile thing, especially if you're going somewhere cold. It's a scarf, but also doubles as a travel blanket. Now, another thing, <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck. So another thing that I love to use when I am cold on planes is a hot water bottle, which let your flight attendant friend give you a little bit of a pro tip. So the hot water bottle is genius. Now, once your flight crew is done with service, especially meal service on those long international flights, go sneak your way to the back galley and ask them very, very, very kindly if they can fill it up with hot water because it is the best 
thing ever. And most flight crews are gonna have no problem with it. Just be nice about it. Try not to do it when they're doing service. And they'll have no problem helping you out. And the hot water bottles are just so toasty warm. I'll put them on my feet when my feet are cold or I'll just hold them and cuddle them to death. It is one of my best travel hacks. I know I've shown you it before, but it's so good. So coming from your flight attendant friend, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that I use, and it comes on every single trip with me, has for a long time, are SteriPods. Now the SteriPods actually come in a pack of two, and they just clip on top of your razor. So this keeps your razor from cutting up stuff in your suitcase or getting dirty or gross. So it really is just a razor protector. So right now I actually have a pink one on my razor that I'm going to switch out for one of these. But literally every single trip, I do have a razor protector on my razor as well as they also make these Steri pods, which they come in a pack of two as well. One is on my toothbrush right now, but they have like a little clip. So they go on top of your toothbrush. It has just this hole right here. So you just go ahead, clip it in there and that protects your toothbrush bristles as well from getting gross and going all over the place. So both of these are a must have for me. They go on all my trips and they're really inexpensive. Like they're not expensive at all. And I just think like they're so subtle, but so good because it's gonna keep your razor and your toothbrush fresh as well as your suitcase. Okay, so now for my next thing, and I know my OG fans have heard this time and time again, but I cannot do a travel must have video without showing this to you because it is a travel must have and that is deodorizer bags or deodorizer shoe balls. You guys, <laughs> probably since I started this channel, I have been shoving this stuff down your throat, but, but please, please understand where I'm coming from. You are mixing dirty clothes with your clean clothes when you are traveling. So these are a must have. You wanna keep all your stuff smelling fresh, especially if you go walking. So if you're like me, I'm an adventurer. Like if I'm on a layover, we're going out, we're doing stuff, we're hanging out. So if you're ever with me or you see me, come on girl, we, we are going out but you're putting your smelly shoes that you'd be walking in everywhere up in your suitcase and it makes everything stinky. So these are a must have. They are the best way to travel with keeping your stuff nice and fresh. So I keep these for my shoes, especially tennis shoes. I'll throw them in there if it's like flip flops or something and just throw it in the bag. But tennis shoes, I'll actually put it into the sneaker itself. And then for these, I actually like to keep it in the pocket, just in the top of my suitcase. And a lot of times with my uniform, I will take it out and hang it up on the hanger with my uniform in the closet to keep my uniform fresh. But you guys, you cannot travel without deodorizers. You cannot travel without deodorizers. I know you guys are probably like, Cat, stop, we have heard this 15 million times on your channel. But you guys, say it with me. You cannot travel without deodorizers. <laughs> okay. So the next item, this is brand new, and this came at the suggestion of you. So I was talking recently on my what's in my bag video. So I just put it up and I was talking about AirPods. I believe it was in that video. Was it in a different video? Whatever video it is, I will pop it up here where I was talking about AirPods. And I said basically I really wanted some AirPods, but every single flight somebody is losing an AirPod. And I'm like, yo, like, why are you gonna go spend 160 to 200 dollars on AirPods when every other flight you're losing one? And so then I was like, I just could not rationalize that in my head. So one of you dropped a comment to me and was like, girl, just get some ear pods, try those out, see how you like them. They have so much cheaper ones which they do. <laughs> so I found this pair. This is the newest pair by this company. And this company has such good ratings for their headphones. So they are these little earbuds. So go ahead and slide it open for you guys. So I had to go with the baby pink. I love me some pink, which you're gonna see in a little bit. And they are just these ear pods. They are waterproof. Let me get my face out so it'll focus. They also have this thing at the bottom. So you can actually like change this part on the ear so it fits better with your ear but it also has this charging case right here. So it's very similar to the ear pods where you just put them in there and it'll charge on up. So this was so reasonably priced. They were so inexpensive and they have such good ratings on this. And they said the newest ones are the best ones. So I was like, yep, you know I'm about to do it. So I am switching over to Bluetooth ear pods because I'm actually using two sets of headphones right now and I do love my bows, my big bows, but they're so chunky to travel with. So doing something like this is much more travel friendly. So I'm excited about that. I had to go get my fan really fast. For some reason this house feels so hot. This is actually another travel, <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be in the video, but this is actually a travel fan that I bought for traveling and then I was like, girl, you chunky, like you extra thick, but I do 
love this fan. I actually use this fan almost every single day. So I feel kind of bad that I trashed her when I first got her, but she's really, really good. She has some good settings, but I also do have a fan that goes like around your neck and it's a small portable fan. I'll link them both down below, but I also use this a lot when I'm filming obviously, or um, when I'm doing my makeup, I'll put my setting spray on and then just fan myself. So that is good as well. But, okay, getting back to the stuff that's actually supposed to be in the video. I shared this with you when I did my What's in My Bag because it goes on all of my trips with me. So this is my jewelry box. So this is my travel jewelry box. If you like to wear jewelry or necklaces, which I'll link this set below. It came with um, some necklaces that I got on Amazon, as well as um, my bracelets. This bracelet was separate, but I'll try to link all my jewelry down below if you're interested in some costume jewelry that I really love. But if you like to travel with jewelry, these jewelry cases are like the best thing ever. So I have some rings in there, I have some earrings in there, and then I also have a bracelet and a piece of my hair in there. <laughs> Girl, get it together. But it has like two dividers as well. So you have these dividers, so if you want to divide your stuff up, you can easily do that. This jewelry box goes in my carry-on bag with me on all of my trips. So if I'm wanting to wear jewelry on that trip, she's a coming. Which also brings me into my next thing. So an, an Apple watch is required. An Apple watch is not required. A watch though is required as a flight attendant. So I have an Apple watch and I had just like the Nike sports band on there, but it, it kind of, I don't know. I wasn't vibing with it anymore. It was like great when I was wearing my watch to the gym, but now I really don't wear my watch to the gym. And I really wanted something that looked nicer with my flight attendant uniform when I did wear my watch. So I actually bought this gold case around. So this little bumper around the watch and then I bought the watch band as well. So with the jewelry that I have, it just looks really nice, especially in uniform. So it has like this really pretty gold band that I will also link both of those things down below for you as well if you're looking to switch up your watch band and do something else. And it also comes with like a little thing. So it comes with a lot of these little bands right here, but depending on your wrist size, it has a tool that you can take them off. So you can match it to your wrist size as well. So my next travel must have, y'all have seen them time and time again. Don't get me wrong, I love a good um, packing cube because packing cubes can really organize your stuff. You know like, okay, my uniform and stuff is in this packing cube or my clothes are in this packing cube. So I do love a good packing cube, do not get me wrong. But you guys, I showed you in this video one of my favorite travel hacks and it has still stayed my favorite travel hack, my stow and go. So a stow and go is basically a hanging closet. So you can pack all of your stuff in there and organize everything. Then it has two pockets at the top. I love to put my socks, my underwear, my bra, my swimsuit, that sort of stuff. And it has the zip pocket at the bottom that I love to put my shoes in so that keeps my shoes from everything else or a toiletry bag or whatever you wanna do. And then it collapses and you can zip it up and tighten it so it just fits in your suitcase very nicely. So then when you get to your hotel, or your layover, or wherever you're going, you just take it and hang it up. And I have yet to go anywhere that did not have a place to hang it up. Everywhere has a place to hang it up. So there's no more unzipping or digging through your packing cubes and then after putting everything back, because I do love the separation of packing cubes, but they're not the most convenient thing to be digging through. So having my hanging closet, I feel like I can pack way more in my hanging closet and everything is so much more organized. And then I basically have a closet. So it's like, Kind of like unpacking without unpacking, you know what I mean? But that is like one of my like flight attendant tips, tricks, must haves. I think the stow and go is a complete game changer. And for those of you who have bought it, y'all have come back to me and tell me like, oh my gosh, Kat, that was game changing as far as travel goes. Go check it out, run, don't stow, go. <laughs> oh my God, dad joke. But yeah, no, go. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed for myself. But yeah, go go get it because you're not gonna regret it. It's so convenient and so nice and it also makes packing so easy. Now on to the next thing. Now I'll just be honest with the next thing. I'm gonna run through it really quickly because a lot of you are gonna be like, yes. And a lot of you are gonna be like, no. If you travel with food and you travel with a cooler bag, I love these. So these are like the medicine, like the ice bags. I think like every flight attendant has them. I needed to get a new set and this one comes in like a set of three. So it has a large, a medium and a small right here. But they are the best thing ever because you can go get ice 
from the ice chest at the hotel. So it's not like a normal ice pack where you put it in the freezer and then you get to your layover and your layover fridge either is not there or if it is there, the freezer doesn't tend to work. So then you have no, no freezer bags. So this is like a flight attendant hack that if you're traveling with anything um, cool that you need or you're traveling with any kind of food or something like that, these are fabulous. I will link the three pack I got down below. But again, I know some of you are gonna vibe with this and some of you are gonna be like, cat, no. <laughs> Next item, in my um, what's in my bag video that I did recently, which go check that out if y'all don't watch it because y'all are gonna get a lot of good tips and tricks and stuff to bring that's not going to be in this video. But in that video, I showed y'all a black small tech case that I had and it actually came with my Nomad Lane bag. So I know a lot of y'all were like, hey cat, where's the link for that? And I was like, there is no link because it came with the whole bag. But I was like, it does not suit my needs. I have so much tuck, tech, tech, Oh, good God. I have so much tech stuff. So I needed something much bigger because I have to travel with my phone charger, my Apple Watch charger, my flight attendant tablet charger. I also have all of my camera equipment. So I have my camera batteries, my camera battery charger. I have a light that works now on my camera. So when it's dark and I don't have great lighting, I bought a light specifically for my camera, which I have the Sony ZV-1. I've gotten a lot of questions on that lately, as well as a tripod and other things that I have to carry. So I have a lot of tech. So if you're going on a great vacation, I know you're gonna have it too because you're gonna have cameras, you're gonna have chargers, you're gonna have all sorts of stuff. So this tech case is so good. It comes in my flight attendant bag now and I love it. It has a carabiner on it, but it also did come with this um, strap. It was, it was like a hand strap. Uh, your girl didn't vibe with it, so I took some scissors and snipped it off. But if you love it, you love it. To me, it just got in the way when I was trying to take it out and I was like, this is plenty or I just grab it. So I went ahead and snipped it off. But when you open this, it is a hard, beautiful case. It's very easy to find, obviously. And then when you open it, it has pockets as well in here or like little things that you can like loop through. So if you wanna use that as well, but then when you end up lifting this, it has space right here. So here is my, my additional light that goes onto my ZV-1 that I can use now. Then I also have chargers in here. The only charger that's not in here is my phone charger because I'm using it. It has my camera battery charger, one of them, and then some other chargers in here. So it stores a lot. And then it has these dividers that you can take in and out. They're like just Velcro. So you can move them over, scoot them over. So that's just additional way to keep your stuff organized. So if you are a tech lover, must have, or you like to travel with tech, highly recommend. This is just like where it's at. Pampered to the gods. Okay, so my next item I actually showed you guys on one of my layovers when I was using it and I was kind of sharing with y'all what my skincare routine looked like as of now. I'm also trying out some new products, but I don't want to share anything with y'all that I'm just like not sure about unless like I test it in front of you guys and give my honest feedback. But you guys, okay, this is must have for me. So this is the Trader Joe's moisturizer that also has SPF in it. You'll know, I will shove it down your face even more than the deodorizers. Put on your sunscreen, put on your sunscreen, wear your sunscreen. I've shown you guys sunscreen on here because there is so much radiation on the planes, but not even just that, when you go places, you don't want your skin to look like leather. You want to just be, be an all natural. If you have to blend into the wall like me, we do it. We just, <laughs> we do it. But wear your sunscreen, please, for the love of God, wear your sunscreen. So this is actually a moisturizer with SPF. Now I would not allow this SPF because it's only SPF 15. This would not be enough SPF for me on its own, but it does have SPF. So if you have this with your makeup or just a normal SPF, do it. But you guys, this is also a moisturizer and this is where I'm coming in from. So the planes are so drying. Traveling is so drying. I told y'all time and time again, a lotion is a must have for me and so is a moisturizer. You have to, your skin will start cracking. Like I've already noticed with my skin, the more I travel, the more it cracks and the more moisturizer I have to use. Like I can no longer flake on the moisturizer game. So go check this out. You can find it on Amazon, but obviously you can also get it at Trader Joe's itself, but I will have it linked down below if y'all just wanna pick it up from Amazon. Now my next item, you guys, I know I've shown this to you in my What's My Bag video, but you need to know, and I'm gonna show you again. And I've also shown you in another Amazon video, but I'm gonna show you again. 
it's still a must have for me. And that is these travel perfume bottles. So these are fabulous. If you are like me and you refuse to be the smelly kid in class, you know you're coming with your deodorizer, you know you're coming with your perfumes. These are fabulous. They come in a four pack, so you can switch up your scents if you want more than one scent. But you just take the lid off your perfume, you press down, it fills this up, and you can put the lid right back on your perfume, or the sprayer, it's the sprayer lid. But then, you guys, you just travel with these things. Fabulous. Ooh, it smells delicious. I know I've shown it to you before, but I just have to. I have to keep showing it to you guys because like these are really like travel must have items for me. Like these are things that I'm like, I will go to the depths of the earth to shove down your throat and be like, please buy this. Please buy this because you're not gonna regret it. Now with this, I was honest with y'all last time I showed it to you that I have heard of people having leaking problems with this. I personally never had an issue, but better safe than sorry test out your thing so the first time put it in a ziploc bag just to be sure make sure there's no leakage before you just take it out but i have never had any issues with it leaking and it's so good <laughs> okay and finally last but not least we're gonna bring over the big kahuna i told y'all i was getting some new organizers and i was just kind of doing like the whole mary poppins thing and stuff was coming out of nowhere i didn't know where anything was i was being surprised by some stuff in here because i was like i forgot that was in here but I finally went and got an organizer. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but it is a felt organizer in here and it comes with two pieces. So this is one piece, I'll pull out just to kind of show you what the material is. So this is one piece in there and in this piece in particular, I keep my masks. So my CPR mask and my fume event mask in here but it also has pockets, but it comes with a much larger piece. And this has allowed me to keep all of my stuff organized, so I actually know where everything is now. So there's nothing that's hiding away from me. Woo, baby. All right, so I think we are all done with my 2021 summer must-haves including the fangs, the summer is gonna be hot, y'all. So once again, if you did want any of the items that I have shown you today, all of the links are going to be down below for you to check out. And also be sure to go down there and check out the Bright Sellers wine. You will not regret it and you can thank me later. So with that being said, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press that subscribe button, turn the bell on so you can be notified every time I post a video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.